Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please welcome to the stage, Brandon Kyle Goodman. Let the church say amen. 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 Ow, Shaka Khan Church. I am so honored to be with you tonight. And I am so honored to deliver to you tonight the word. Let the church say amen. Church, I... Amen. I like it. I like it. Church, the other day, I want to tell you a story. Can I tell you a story? The other day, my grandbaby asked to watch the movie Cinderella. Now, not the brandy version where Victor Garber and Whoopi Goldberg give birth to an Asian prince. Hashtag the original Grey's Anatomy. You know what I'm talking about. No, she wanted to watch the animated classic starring the very first SWF, single white female. And I said to my baby, I said, baby, why do you want to watch Cinderella? And she said, because, Grandpa, Cinderella lives happily ever after. And I asked myself, now, what does happily ever after mean? I mean, every fairy tale has it. Cinderella, Snow White, Rapunzel. The whole world knows about Happily Ever After. I would argue that the whole world is searching for Happily Ever After. So we watched that movie. Anybody, anybody not know the movie Cinderella? Some of y'all are lying, I can tell. It's all right. I'll I, I, I walk you through it, all right? Cinderella's mom dies. Her father remarries and then her father dies, leaving her with her stepmother and two stepsisters who move her into the attic, turn her into a slave where her only friends are mice, right? Cut to the prince is throwing a ball. Now Cinderella wants to go, but she ain't got nothing to wear and no way to get there. But her mama says, her stepmama says, now listen, baby, if you get all your chores done, you can come with us. Cinderella's excited. She gets her chores done and asks for her stepmother's promise. She can now go to the ball, but then her stepsisters rip her dress off of her. I don't know if you remember this part. Do you remember this part? Where her stepsisters just shredded her. Now, I don't know about you, but if anybody tried to rip my dress off of me and then laugh as they climb their way into, oh, no, 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 Jesus, it could, Jesus, it could not have been me. It could not have been me, but it happened to Cinderella, okay? Cut to her fairy godmother shows up, gets her to the ball, and she meets the prince, and they live what? But what does happily ever after look like? Mm. All right, all right, well, let's say, perhaps, perhaps Cinderella and, and her prince, they have babies, and their babies grow up to be doctors and lawyers and world leaders. Cinderella becomes a queen, her prince becomes a king, and they spend their retirements in Paris, eating croissants, under the Eiffel Tower on fresh spring days, perhaps. Or perhaps we can ask ourselves, who was sitting on Cinderella's side at the wedding? <laughs> Mama's dead. Daddy's dead. She can't invite the step family to the wedding, obviously. Her only friends are mice, and guess what? A princess don't invite mice to a wedding, okay? So now she got self-esteem issues. She on the cover of every magazine, so she got body image issues too. She ain't been to school since the fourth grade, so she can't read good. She and the prince, they don't talk because she only know how to talk to rodents. So now, she flirts with the palace gardener because he likes to hit her around a bit. The prince finds out, executes the gardener, exiles Cinderella to the valley where she gets hooked on crack. Now, she got to sell her body for more money for more crack. Six months later, six months later, the cop picks her up. Those are in the back of the car. She's rocking back and forth saying, my fairy godmother will save me. The cop says, impossible. Cinderella says, impossible. Things are happening every day. Boom. Shaka, laka, laka. You think Rapunzel, who was locked up in some one-room tower in the sky for 18 years by the hands of some witch, knows how to live happily ever after? No, she is bald and claustrophobic. Snow White hasn't eaten a piece of fruit since she woke up. Her fiber intake is low. She got hemorrhoids she can't poop good, okay? <laughs> Sleeping Beauty won't go to sleep because she's afraid she won't wake up. So now she's an insomniac, and since she spends all day hallucinating, they lock her ass in a mental asylum. <laughs> Happily ever after? Please! Not until they talk to Jesus or Yon Levan's aunt. 